CDT testing is very important because it is one of the most specific marker for chronic excessive alcohol consumption and it is one of the few or if not the only approved markers by the International Federation of Clinical Chemistry which is known as the IFCC. Consumption over a period of just seven to ten days of half a bottle of wine or two pints of beer or 125 ml of spirits is sufficient to cause CDT to become elevated after that uh, period. It is a result also which indicates in black and white that there may be an issue with, with uh, the consumption of alcohol. The primary area of CDT has been forensic testing, and that's mainly in uh, maritime, driver licensing, aviation, and locomotion. The second area I think where it, it should become important is primary care, where they can be assessed by GPs and clinicians. If someone's feeling isolated and depressed, they may go to their GPs and the GP will assess them with an alcohol questionnaire. And of course, many people tend to be in denial, so they will never admit how much they're actually drinking. Many people uh, attend emergency departments under the influence of alcohol, particularly at weekends and therefore they can be identified whether they are chronically abusing alcohol or whether they are simply binge drinking. Women who are attending the antenatal clinic in their first trimester of pregnancy may not have been aware that they have been consuming alcohol excessively while becoming pregnant. So really it's for people to assess their drinking lifestyle. Chronic excessive alcohol consumption can affect individuals neurologically, particularly in eye movements and coordination. This can impact on the way they are driving or flying a plane. In 2005, the IFCC uh, requested the formation of a working group at standardising CDT testing across all platforms. And this became successful by 2017, where the method was not only approved by IFCC in terms of a goal reference method, but this allowed the commercial manufacturers to standardise their assay to uh, the CDT IFCC, which has a single cutoff globally. The global cutoff forensically is 2% because that guarantees that someone is absolutely positive for excessive chronic alcohol consumption. But there is also an upper reference limit of 1.7, which identifies those who are clinically at risk. There are other markers available, but CDT is the only IFCC approved test at the moment for chronic drinking. I've been working with CB Equipment using different platforms since 2002. The support I've had from the technical side and the service team have been second to none. There is an enormous need for education and awareness for CDT testing across all areas, be it clinically or forensically. The much needed take up of CDT testing, I think, can be driven by the way CBIA is applying media and other functions to raise awareness and educate people who actually need to be aware of, of this test. CDT testing is a simple blood test which is far more cost effective than radiological techniques such as looking for scarring of the liver and it's hassle free for the individuals concerned also. Identifying individuals who are at risk of chronic excessive consumption early enough is beneficial for their management, society and cost effectiveness.